all right and we're back at it again guys as always it's your friendly neighborhood film geek the film chronicles and as i said on my last video up with wandavision i am going to continue the uh, disney plus series news with this part two video so now we're going to dive deep into the falcon and winter soldier plus loki so first and foremost we are going to do falcon and winter soldier so let's go you know so as we saw at the end of avengers endgame we saw captain america come back as an old cap and he handed down his shield to falcon sam wilson and you know their friendship and their camaraderie was very nice and very refreshing and super great we also have winter soldier coming back and you guys know that that's bucky and of course even more so of a great relationship and friendship and brotherhood between cap and bucky so it's exciting to see them two kind of split that mantle and in a way because yes falcon does have the shield but he's not yet accepting him captain america so we'll, we'll see how that plays out um it's going to be a very very so is that we are getting baron helmet zemo back who we last saw in captain america civil war one of my personal favorite avengers movies because i mean yes it's captain america part three but i would consider it like avengers 2.5 <laughs> you know what i mean but anyway so we are gonna see zemo back and not only this time they already teased that he's gonna bring his traditional purple mask from the comics and man like that's another exciting thing that they're gonna do in kind of a, a grounded way that doesn't really feel silly and feel too comical it feels natural as he is you know a very lethal soldier on his own right and it's gonna be exciting to see that get up and maybe we could even see him having a, a fucking sword like he does in the comics excuse my french but that's gonna be a very exciting thing to see and we also have sharon carter coming back she is peggy carter's niece um she was last seen in civil war uh, her and steve shared a kiss not a lot of people cared for that not a lot of people really like that whatever um she's coming back into the fray according to van camp she said that Sharon Carter has been on the run since she was seen in Civil War, so the series is going to pick up on what she's doing. And then additionally, we are getting Wyatt Russell in as John Walker. And the name might not sound familiar to you, but if you are a pretty big Captain America fan, you know that essentially the government used John Walker as their version of Captain America, but they called him and pretty much this is a well-known thing by now u.s agent and he's a much more militaristic lethal captain america who is pretty much essentially programmed without being like brainwashed but programmed to be their tool and their weapon with giving ba captain america a bad name so it's fair to say that in this series we are going to see falcon aka new captain america and U.S. agent kind of get into a battle because it seems John Walker will be used to replace Falcon as Captain America with Falcon refusing to go into the super soldier program. So a natural divide that would come with someone being essentially a villain because I do see why I wrestle as a villain later down later down the line in the episodes not essentially at the beginning but he's not going to be an over-the-top villain that wants to take over the world he's just going to be a villain because he believes in what he's doing and he's not aware of you know everything that's going on behind his back so it, it might be like a tragic villain type of thing it's going to be interesting to see what they do with him wyatt russell's a fucking awesome actor he's actually kurt russell's son i'm pretty sure you guys all know that just by the name you would have to guess that right other than that we're gonna be seeing some other actors and actresses that have been cast in falcon and winter soldier but their roles aren't disclosed so one of them is carl lumbly um who speculated to be i guess one of the earlier versions of the weapon program because as you remember steve rogers is essentially part of that same program that wolverine is so there are other experiments before him also other experiments that were before captain america so there is speculation that carl lumbly is going to be playing that and that character is going to be isaiah bradley who is quite unquote the original captain america who was one of the first super serum soldiers that they created so according to slash films resources the series will be falcon initially refusing to take up the mantle of captain america but ultimately he changes his mind after encountering the secret history of the super soldier program after he encounters this character bradley so that's also another thing that's exciting to see is that we're going to see more of this super soldier program and we might even get more hints towards the the mutants coming into the mcu now 
because as you guys all know like i was saying earlier a couple minutes ago or maybe just a minute ago that wolverine was a part of this super serum soldier program as he was weapon 10 or weapon x however you want to call it and that alone is awesome we do see mcu always bringing more representation to, to race to gender to the sexual orientation of the characters that they introduce they respect that and they don't try to push on a, a different narrative they're you know that they're, they're very accepting of that and that's really refreshing to see from an industry so you know it's going to be exciting to see the Falcon and Winter Soldier push for more African American representation on film screen. So that's exciting, you know. And then, as far as like the storyline for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we are gonna see Sam and Bucky on the run and at odds with the government because, I mean, right now the speculation, the big speculation is that essentially Sam violated the the rules and the and the code of the Sokovia Accords, right? By by being on the run with the secret avengers quote unquote because they weren't really called that but that's what captain america falcon vision scarlet witch and black widow were they were secret avengers going around still operating but you know incognito pretty much so with that in mind they're also going to be operating outside of the government of course so they're going to have you know villains outside of the government going after them so these guys are just going to be in a world of trouble and that's going to be a pretty cool fast-paced you know tone that they're going to be able to set for the series and then we can expect zemo to have more dirt on bucky himself and you know even though sherry took out the trigger words i'm reading on some speculation i'm not going to say exactly what it is just to spare you guys if you guys do see this show that there's a certain word that zemo does have information on that could still trigger the guy so that's going to be interesting to see and how he holds that against him and as far as any other information there's really none and, and even then guys you know take everything that i said there with a grain of salt that's merely speculation and things that i've read up on and things that i've you know researched myself here and you know don't take it entirely to be the truth and of course you know keep in mind that there's always spoiler warnings with everything i talk about you know keep in mind that it could potentially ruin an episode that you watch down the line unless you forget about the video so with that being said we do have loki coming out later in 2021 that is another exciting disney original plus series that we're going to be able to see of course we have tom hiddleston coming back into the role as loki um we do have owen wilson casted into loki which is really crazy to think about and we also have the time variance authority appearing tva that's the uh shirt that loki is actually wearing where he is in the prison and it looks like he's locked up yeah because they have them they kind of are the police of the multiverse so they're going to be monitoring him it's pretty much highly speculated that owen wilson is playing the main officer within the time variance authority additionally um a couple other actresses have been cast sophia d martino um who's rumored to be lady loki and according to some set leaks that i'll show here uh she is wearing the same asgardian garb that you would expect loki to wear so it's fair speculation to say that that's going to be uh, loki becoming lady loki uh via you know his powers or whether or not that's actually him becoming lady loki like he did in the comics after being uh, reborn or whatever something like that and then we also have gugu batha raw um she's also gonna be in loki there's speculation that she's gonna be playing owen wilson's partner within the time variance authority um and that's kind of it there's also richard e grant who i'm reading here is gonna be also in the loki tv series which is interesting to think about because uh there is pretty much uh, speculation that with loki messing with the the events of the timeline via the tesseract that he's gonna cause attention to come to him and get arrested by the time variance authority but then that's also gonna be affecting things such as other cosmic uh villains and entities and there's fair speculation that kang the conqueror is gonna make his appearance within the loki series since loki is alternating things within different parts of the timeline and that's affecting future timelines it could potentially really bring kang conquer into this time and into the disney plus series at least by the end not really like a main big villain i don't think it's gonna really have sort of uh, a big villain other than loki himself 
being the cause of certain things that are going on in the timeline and the time variance authority has to use loki to, to fix it because we do see him out of his prison garb and in like regular clothes pretty much with owen wilson's character who has um a big old coat on him to hide that it's owen wilson but yeah you know this is all pretty much story speculation on what's going to happen um that's going to be kind of the premise is that they're fixing what loki has already done or is doing to the timeline because the tva is pretty much the multiverse cops another exciting piece of news is that according to kevin feige this series will also tie into doctor strange in the multiverse of madness and as i was talking about in the previous video part one WandaVision is directly going to go into Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. And I, I will say now that Richard E. Grant was cast in just a single episode, so it's not like he's going to be playing a recurring character. So we, I guess we can throw that Kang speculation out the window. Yeah, so you know, it's going to be a very exciting time for streaming services. And that was another thing that I was talking about in like my very first video, if we kind of reflect on it for a little bit, you know, here before I end the video. One of the things that I touched upon was that Tenet is the litmus test for the future of cinema and the future of fu movie releases, right? But the way things are going with, you know, cities trying to reopen, but then cases spiking and whatnot, I don't think things are going to go back into the norm just yet or anytime soon for that matter. So I think a lot of things are going to be coming to streaming. I think streaming a new fresh things such as, you know, from Marvel, Star Wars, DC, whatever. I don't think for at least a little bit we're going to have any big theatrical releases unless Tenet proves that the theaters can keep a cleanly environment, can keep the social distancing and the people then that that's a big thing is that the people yeah you watching this video that you need to realize that you have to do your part and not you know go in without a mask and not take this very lightly like look at the facts look at the fact that we opened up you know different businesses and now the cases are spiking in certain areas yeah it's gone in, in cross countries but that's because they did social distancing right man we're not doing it right here in the states so just keep that in mind guys you know stay safe and you know stay clean stay healthy don't sacrifice your health or someone else's health just for the fact that you want to not believe you know some scientific fact that you read upon yeah this is pretty much being proven you know and that's the end of my rant I'm sorry if you guys didn't enjoy it but it is the truth and you know if you don't agree that's cool whatever still love you for watching this video and liking it all right guys and that's the end of this video i thank you guys so much for coming in and watching this you know sitting through it and especially at the end rant right there i'm very sorry but you know i just had to speak my mind on the future of cinema because you know it is a big deal and i do love movies and i do love movies coming out whether it's superhero stuff or horror or action adventure or whatever like i want to be able to see that on the big screen make sure you guys like comment subscribe and as always it's been your friendly neighborhood film geek the film chronicles <laughs>